I've completed my bachelor's in biotechnology from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. And so essentially that was an engineering program and I completed courses in mathematics, uh, thermodynamics and biology. Um, during those four years, I also tried to do a lot of internships and um, internships like in industry, for example, in Monsanto Research Center and also in research uh, institutes like Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology. So uh, what I tried to explore was uh, uh, different fields like bioinformatics or uh, experimental labs like cloning. And um, that's when I, I think I was uh, very clear that I want to go ahead with bioinformatics and that I'm really uh, liking the subject. I'm pursuing my master's in computational biology at Carnegie Mellon and I think it's been a great experience because uh, there have been uh, courses in computer science, in mathematics and biology and I think it's uh, really shaping up my career also because I'm doing research in, uh, in computational biology. I was looking for a program which uh, had a combination of computer science, mathematics and biology and when I uh, looked up the program uh, at Carnegie Mellon I thought uh, that would be a perfect uh, place for me because it, 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 had, it also had the flexibility in the uh, courses you can take and you can uh, decide your career path as you want. So I thought it was uh, something where uh, I could get to learn a lot and in fact it was a great experience as I uh, picked up a lot of courses in computer science which I had previously no experience on and now I think I'm very comfortable with uh, algorithms, data structures and uh, any other computer science related uh, courses which I need in bioinformatics. Um. So in my third semester, uh, we took the two course, uh, core courses with Dr. Duran and Dr. Schwartz. Uh, and both the courses, I think, uh, gave a complete picture on how computational biology is currently progressing and uh, how uh, uh, the computer science and statistics is applied to biological data. Uh, specifically in Dr. Schwartz's course, uh, we, try, we, uh, we learned uh, you know, simple things like uh, how to design a problem and how to understand uh, what, uh, how to structure the problem and then apply uh, the known methods uh, to it. Um, and even though it was more focused on uh, modeling uh, cell uh, systems, I think uh, those all methods were very easily generalizable. At the same time, uh, in Dr. Duran's course, we learned a lot of uh, recent methods on next-gen sequencing data, which I think uh, is very required in uh, the current uh, feel if you want to work in industry. Um, I think uh, the flexibility of the program was the one of the best things uh, uh, in the program and um, uh, apart from the two core courses that we need to take, uh, you can choose whatever kind of courses you want and according to the career path you want to have. So in my case, I uh, wanted to take more of computer science and statistics courses uh, and I did take a lot of algorithms and a lot of uh, intermediate stats and machine learning kind of courses. I completed my research project with Dr. Russell Schwartz and uh, it involved identifying uh, gene subsets which would help differentiate different, uh, various tum tumor subtypes. Uh, they, it involved uh, applying various machine learning skills uh, like principal component analysis and uh, unmixing and also applying various statistical tests like ANOVA and t-tests. I think uh, it uh, really transformed me in a way that uh, I can apply all these methods that I learned in my courses uh, onto real data and help me understand better what kind of problems uh, we face when we work with uh, real experimental data. I will be completing my program in December and I'm looking for jobs uh, in industry after that as I would like to get some industrial exposure before I go on to do my PhD. Um, specifically, I plan to do my PhD in cancer research and uh, so I think I'm, I would uh, really like a job uh, where I would uh, get more ex uh, uh, practical experience in cancer research. So one of the most influential experiences during my master's was when I was doing a project uh, in the course Bioinformatics Data Integration Practicum. Uh, this project involved uh, taking um, data from a particular lab and uh, uh, developing a pipeline to identify horizontal gene transfers in various uh, strains. Uh, I think it was uh, a very good experience because I worked, I got to work with a big team with, uh, uh, where people were from different backgrounds and also uh, the project as such which, uh, uh, which was end to end and helped me develop a complete software package which any uh, research scientist or uh, people in, working in lab can use while they do their research. 
My advice to the incoming students would be to um, take advantage of the networking opportunities here, uh, collaborate with your batchmates in various projects, talk to um, alumni in uh, what they're doing currently, and talk to various faculty members about um, their research, and basically make the most of it when you're here, and learn from others' experiences, and um, learn more about uh, the current um, research happening in the field.